I'm going to share how you can wear velvet hair accessories in your hair just like the Duchess of Cambridge and make it work with your everyday look. Hi everyone, Jennifer here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, I'm going to be exploring the world of velvet hair accessories. This is a trend that the Royals have been wearing for a few years and it's a timeless classic trend, it's nothing new. But I thought that I would share it with you today because I do like to take inspiration in accessories in order to uh, really boost my 10 item wardrobe and make my outfits feel special. Start off today with the velvet hair tie and the Duchess of Cambridge, who is a great um, style inspiration of mine is known for wearing these in her ponytails. And so I have found two different types on Amazon, very affordable, and there's a lot of them that come in each pack that um, make it really accessible for anybody to achieve this look. So these are two different examples of the types of hair accessories that um, you could wear to get this look worn by Duchess Kate. And so I'm going to start off first with this kind of rabbit ear scrunchie. This is a velvet scrunchie. It's called rabbit ear because they look like rabbit ears. And this is less of a dramatic look. It's definitely something that um, I think anybody could wear and not feel self-conscious if you're <laughs> not used to wearing hair accessories. Um, this little pack that I got on Amazon was really affordable and it came with so many of them all different sorts of colors i feel like even though it's velvet you could wear them year round depending on the color that you wear so you know these would be spring summer type colors and then as you get into fall winter you could definitely wear the blacks and the uh, sort of jewel tone colors in my hair right now i'm wearing this garnet color and it's a jewel tone color so this is just a really um, effortless way to achieve this look. The scrunchies have wire inside of them, so you can manipulate the bow to go any way you like. You could bend it to go like that. They could go straight up. It all just depends on what you like. So here is what this bow looks like in my hair. show you uh, one more. I'll show you this one in this lighter color so you can see what that looks like as well. It's just really easy. Obviously, it's just like putting a regular hair tie in your hair. You don't really need much talent in order to do this, which I don't have much talent in doing my hair. And that's it. larger bow now and this is actually what the Duchess of Cambridge appears to be wearing something similar to this it doesn't appear that she's wearing a scrunchie attached to it um, I'm sure she's having it on just a regular hair tie and then she has a nice velvet tie on top of it but Amazon sell these um, scrunchie and bow sets and they actually come with the bow already tied to the scrunchie or you can separate them and I think that's nice. If you saw my Emily Dickinson makeup tutorial, I used this, which is actually part of the scrunchie, to tie around my neck. So that is another way that you could use the velvet hair ties. Now, I am still dealing with the postpartum hair loss, and so my hair is really thin. It's also quite awkward growing back in weird places, so I think that these velvet hair ties help to distract from that. I'm going to show you this one, which I haven't worn yet. I love this and I'm kind of saving this for fall winter this year. What a beautiful color. So let's try this one out. So this one has a bow that is um, 
very defined, but you can also let the straps hang down a little bit longer, and I will demonstrate that one now. Okay, so here I'm wearing a black velvet one similar to what the Duchess is wearing in the picture, and I like that you can see that when you look uh, forward. So this is another way that you can wear it. is just with the ties hanging long. So I'll show you this one as well. And I've been wearing my hair like this a lot this summer. I just think it's really pretty uh, and I like it. Okay, and the last royal trend, which is perhaps the most daring, is the padded velvet headband. So you might be thinking, what's the big deal here? But this is actually quite a thick headband. Um, it's about an inch and a half thick. And so when you put it on, it looks like it's a crown. Okay, so here it is. And as you can see, it really extends your face. It goes up really high and is quite dramatic. You've seen the Duchess wear this look on a few occasions. The most similar one to this is when she wore the black velvet headband, as you can see in this picture. So this is actually a very regal look dating back a long time. You see a lot of this uh, during the Renaissance period, this type of headwear. And it takes some guts to wear this, I think. But I also think as with a lot of trends that this will start to become more popular with people. You've already seen it on the runways a bit. And um, it's kind of neat. So here is what it looks like on my head as it sits on the top of my head. We'll do a close-up here, or you could push it further uh, to the front of your head, and that is another look, and it kind of looks like a hat in that sense. Or you could push it farther back, which is probably the way that I am most comfortable wearing it. Okay, here is me on a different day, and I'm showing you another uh, way that you could wear this headband. And it's quite simple, you just take the hair on either side of your face and pin it back in a half updo. And I think this is really pretty. It would be great for a special occasion, I think. Okay, so the way that she is wearing it is actually as an updo. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Take the hair on either side of my face and just um, keep it like this. Then you're going to take the hair in the back and put it into a ponytail, but don't pull it all the way through on the third pull. Time to place the headband on your head and then take the hair on either side of your face and wrap it around this messy bun and pin it into place until it looks really nice. This is a perfect updo for something really special. I could imagine going to the theater with this look. I love it. joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more like this, and thanks for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I will see you in my next video. Bye!